Welcome back for another Game Maker Studio tutorial and now we're gonna do some fun stuff. As you can see this enemy looks quite iconic of those Super Mario games you see well in Super Mario and that is what we're gonna recreate in Game Maker Studio and that is actually quite easy to achieve or for example like this cactus enemy in Super Mario games which is very very iconic and that you can recreate um, similar to the pattern I will show you. This is one of Indie. I am the developer of the indie game Clunky Source and a programmer slash pixel artist. So if you're new here and you want more, consider subscribing to my channel because I upload every two days in video and for now every day. Let's get right into the good stuff. So how can we recreate that thing here? Um, well, first of all we need a few things and I need to explain them a little bit. So we have um, a few sprites first of all the head sprite which is the biggest one and it's 48 by 48 we just center in the middle so it's easier to focus then a middle part then the end part which is the smallest because it's just 16 by 16 so um, they are well biggest one semi big and the smallest one so you can differentiate them between each other and for now first of all we just assign our well head part and that the head part will be following our mouse and that of course you have to change because but well, you don't want it to follow the mouse but just go for a specific pattern I don't know follow the player with a delay or just go some routines depending on what you want to do and here we have some variables and they are quite important first of all the tail part should be self-explanatory but um, here every time you re recreate this kind of well, thing here we need to take one off and then when we are zero we don't create new parts and you cannot do that in the create event because the game maker will throw an error and then well it's an infinite loop and we cannot do that the next thing is to follow and this is just a switch we do in the step event the first one is not following the, its predecessor so we have that on false and the next part will be following the head and not the mouse so you have like dynamic thing one is after another after another and they are just following one thing after another with a little delay which I'm gonna show you then the next one is two things which are now set to our ID which is just one but later on I'll show you what it's um, we need uh, one ID to be used in this step event and then well we need to check once and create once the following part in the step event and that's why we have to do that here because we have to create it once in the step event so let's do the code in the step event let's do it by yeah okay first of all if we are not following so we are the head we just do a little lerp function and lerp is just doing uh, well a linear interpolation between the first value and the second value and then depending how much you want to well interpolate with the, between those two for example um, here we take the X and Y position and then we want to follow the mouse but with a little delay and that's why we do it just with um, uh, 2% so we follow it nicely and it doesn't go too much but here you have to play with those kind of values and the next thing well, you do it with X and Y and the next thing would be um, if it's not the head then you say okay we follow and true and then we have our follow this one and this is the ID which is passed down to the next uh, well entity which is just basically the same object but with another sprite and um, well it will be following uh, its predecessor so the first time we'll be following the head and then so on so how can we do that basically by doing a little thing here and I just go through everything in here and let's explain the code so basically what we are doing first of all we have our check once thing and then we reset it so we say true so basically this code just runs once and then we create a new part and of course we want to say are there any parts left 
and that's why we say more than zero and then we take one part of so for example we have four at the start and we divide one and then we have three and then the next one will be two and one and then it's zero and then well, we won't be creating a new one and there i divided it by uh, well, two parts for example we want our last part to be a little bit different so for example if our last part is the zero part then we do a few different things but basically it's the same code we just say we create the instance the same instance uh, which is object boss code uh, boss snake that's well, this guy here again and then we say all right his parts because we do in with instance so these are the variables which are the same as here but inside the new instance that's why we say the new trail parts are the other trail parts so these ones so don't confuse them here and we just say all right here it would be three so three will be the new trail parts in the new created instance and then you say follow true because what well, all the others will be following and um, then we say all right we want to take this id and that is the id of our um, predecessor so first of all that would be the head and then the other one and how can we check that basically what well, it says here take this id that will be the id of the new created thing that's why it's the other so it's from this one we just take uh, the one and then uh, assign it to this one because here as you can see we are following and then we are not following the mouse we're just following our predecessor and then of course we need to change our sprite index so this is for example for the end part because well this is zero so it's the last part and for the other one well it's the boss part which is the middle part but basically the same code is the same we follow our predecessor we want to follow so if you want to follow we do this code and not the one with the mouse and then of course we want to reduce our trail part because we then because if we don't do this but well, we do an infinite loop let's start it again and bam that's it but for now as you can see it's already doing its thing but it's not flipping its image and that is what we can do sneakily as well and we can do that with x previous so there's a little very nice uh, and cool variable which is called x previous that is the x position of your previous step not the x which we're having now but the previous one and then we can say all right is our now x bigger than the previous we flip our image index if it's not we stick it to one and then it will it would just flip it so let's start it once again and then everything well, works this is how you can do that very very easy and then of course um, the last thing but this is just for you so you know how much uh, well you want to follow and that is the thing for example um, on the mouse because the mouse can be like let's say the mouse is here and your enemy is here then it will try to regain it very fast but for example um, we want to follow it uh, let's say by a 10% and as you can see for example if I put it let's say 0. Point, uh, I don't know one so we go for even less because now not now we don't have 10 percent we just have one then it would follow very very slow and that's why and then you can see well how you have to adjust your previous values so it works hopefully that was uh, entertaining for you i find this enemy type very very entertaining and they can be pretty cool and, and some mini bosses which are put up like that well they are fun have a good one one up indeed